Amen. The Lord is in this holy temple. Let all the earth keep silent before him. Would you please stand if we prepare ourselves for our opening hymn. There is a name I love to hear. I love to sing his words. Sound like music in my ear. The sweetest name on earth. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus, oh, how I love Jesus, because he first loved me, tells me of a Savior's love, who died to set me free, it tells me of this precious blood, the sinner's perfectly. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because he first loved me. Tells me up one love and heart can bear my deepest woes. Who can each sorrow there upon nothing with love? Oh, oh, how I love Jesus. I love him today. Oh, how I love Jesus. How I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because he first loved me. Sing it all. Oh, how I love Jesus. How I love him. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love him. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because he first loved me. I love the Lord. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Oh, how I love Jesus. Because he first loved me. Hallelujah. 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 Do you love him today? Do you love the Lord today? Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, how I love him. Why do I love him? Because he first loved me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He loved me so much that he he died for me before there was a me, and I love him today. Amen, amen. We're preparing ourselves for prayer. If that's a name you'd like to call before the Lord, please do so now. Amen. We are continue to pray for our state superintendent, our Bishop Oscar Palmer, Brother Allen Washington, Sister Floor Washington. Brother Lord Christmas and Brother Lewis Christmas, Brother George Ragland, and Brother Levi Goshen, amen, and our sister Angela White Goshen. We pray for um, Brother Anthony Jones, Missionary Rosa Jones. We are praying for Deacon Henry Anderson, Brother Randolph Coleman, Sister Charsetta Simmons, 
Mr. Monique Whitings, Brother J.W. Whitings, our Brother Felton Raglan. Amen. We are praying for uh, Brother Tania. That's the grandson of our sister Benita. Um, our sister Maxine, that the Lord had allowed to return home from the hospital. Amen. We pray for our Bishop Robert Mitchie. Amen. Our sister Amy Bobcock. All those that you have called out. And I uh, heard Brother Kenny mention his brother, uh, Brother Gary. Um, and thanking God for all of you. This, we, we pray for you. We pray for you daily. We pray for the household of faith. Amen. We thank God and um, for the strength and praying for the strength of those that are in the room. And I got notification today that we lost um, Mother Virginia Wise. That is the mother of our lady um, Holl Holloway. Um, her, her mother passed. And if you've been to the conventions, you would probably remember her. Our lady Mildred Scott Johnson, who's the daughter of our former chief apostle, uh, our apostle Bishop F. C. Scott. We are praying for our chief apostle, Apostle Thomas Clark. Amen. And we pray for his companion and family. Likewise, we are praying for um, a sister to the chief, that is Apostle George Daly, his wife and family also. We pray that God will bless, hallelujah, that God will bless, amen, that God will bless our country, amen, that we pray for our president, Joe Biden, and we pray for the peace of Jerusalem, amen, we are ever have the Lord before us. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. I need thee. Oh, I need thee. Every hour, I need thee. I need thee. I need thee. Oh, yes. Hey. Yes, Lord. I need thee. Oh, bless me. Bless me right now, my Savior. I come. Oh, yes. I come to thee. I need the oh, I need thee. Oh, yes. Hey, reality. Yes, Lord, I need thee. Oh, bless me. Bless me right now, my say. Savior, I come, oh, oh, yes, I come to thee, oh, I need thee, oh, I need thee, oh, yes, hey, Every hour, yes, Lord, I need thee. Oh, bless me, bless me right now, my say, Savior. I come, oh, oh, yes, I come. We be led in prayer by Minister Wesley Ragland. Let's get a Lord of praise. Hallelujah. Let's get a Lord of hallelujah praise. Oh, he's been good to you, his people. Oh, we thank for all you've done. Oh, Father God, we thank for you, it's you, Father God. Oh, Father God, you thank you because you spare our life one day. Oh, Father God, we thank you because you've been so good, 
so kind, so merciful. Yes, oh, we thank you, Father God, because you saved our soul one day, Father God. You filled up with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. By that, we don't say thank you, Father God. Oh, you've been so good. So kind, so merciful. Oh, Father God, we thank you right now, Father God, what you had done, Father God. And oh, we well, don't tell them what you're going to do for us, Father God. Will you walk right in your footsteps today, Father God? Oh, we thank you, Father God. You're so good, so kind, so merciful. Oh, keeping us, Father God. Oh, Father God, we thank you for the name that's been called, Father God, on the sick list, Father God. We know you is able, okay? Father God, we know you know you made the body. Oh, Father God, you know all about it today. Oh, oh we ask for you to catch, oh, heal, and deliver, Father God. We know you can do what no other can do, right Father now, God. Oh, today. bless your people today, God. Say Keep us today. Your mind serve you, Father God, God. in these last and evil day. Oh, Father God, oh, we know we live in the first time. Yes. Know you soon to come. Oh, Father God, we want to be ready when you come back. Oh, Father God, we give you the thanks today. Glory and honor. Oh, Father God, send your nana today. Send your spirit. Catch your people, Father God. Save the unlost today, Lord. That are lost today, Father God. Bless them right oh, now. Yes. Catch right now. Catch somebody mind today, Father God. Every. Somebody don't know which way to go. Somebody don't know which way to turn today. Catch them right now. Lead them and guide them, Father God. Somebody ready? Miss suicide, boy. Ask you. Stay oh, in the gates for them, Lord Jesus. Catch right now. Bless, Father God. Bless every church bless those me. over your Sabbath day. Right Remember your people. Lead your people. Guide your people. Touch your mind, my body and soul. Oh, Father God, bless those, Father God. They that lost, Father God. Be with them today, Lord. Just keep them, lead them in God. We need you today, Father God. We can't do nothing without you. We know all paths in your hand today. Bless your people right now, God. Give us strength, Father God. You lead and guide and encourage us today. That we hold on to your unchanging hand. So many fallen went oh, by yes. the wayside day, but we want to stay with you today, Lord Jesus. Yes. And we, you know, you are our God and you are our keeper right now, Every Father God. Be with us, Father God. Oh, bless everybody hungry today. Don't have food to eat. Survive for them today, Lord Jesus. Oh, Do our shelter on our head today. Survive for them today, Lord Jesus. But God them, Lord Jesus. Put right gas in the tank today, right Lord Jesus. Food on our table. We know you are able to for life. Help his strength. In your name, Jesus, we pray. Keep us. Bless us right now in this oh, service. Yes. Bless your man serving day. Going to bring your word. Speak to him, Lord Jesus. That you speak to your people. And he bless you. Actually, your name, Jesus, we say. Amen. Get a Lord of hallelujah. Shout. He is worthy. Oh, he is worthy. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Service is in the hands of our presiding minister, our leading lady, Lady Jane Radcliffe. you to turn your Bibles to Exodus chapter 20, Exodus chapter 20, verses 1 through 17. Exodus chapter 20, verses 1 through 17, as we shall read together. And God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any great image, or the likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the waters under the earth. Thou shalt not bear that in thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God. Visit the iniquities of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hates me. And show a mercy unto thousands of them that loves me and keep my commandments. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. For the Lord will not hold him guiltless 
that taketh his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shall thy labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. Thou know thy son, know thy daughter, thy manservant, know thy maidservant, know thy cattle, know thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all them that it is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day, and hallowed it. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbors, thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's house, thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's wife, nor as manservant, nor as maidservant, nor as ox, nor as ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor. At this time, we will recite the disciples' prayer that Jesus taught his disciples, found in St. Matthew's chapter 6, verses 9 through 13, after this manner, therefore pray ye, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. You may be seated at this time. We will bring forth our praise and worship. Can we put our hands together have a little church if you don't mind? Can you stand all over the building with us and help us with this song? I say, can you stand all over the building and help us with this song? God is great and greatly to be praised. To be praised, glory, glory, glory to His name. God is great, and greatly to be praised. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. God is great, and greatly to be praised. Glory, glory to His name. God is great, and greatly to be praised. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. God is great. God is great. And greatly to be praised. Glory, glory to His name. God is great. And greatly to be praised. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. I give joy when I think about what He's done for me. I give joy. Oh, what he's done for me. I get joy when I think about what he's done for me. I get joy when I think about oh, what he's done for me. Oh, you don't know what I know. Oh, what he's done for me. Oh, you don't know what I know. Oh, what he's done for me. Oh, you don't know what I know. Oh, what he's done for me. You don't know what I know. What he's done Pick me up and turn me around. What he's done for me. Oh, place my feet on solid ground. Oh, what he's done for me. Oh, you ain't know what I know. What he's done for me. Oh, you don't know what I know. Oh, what he's done for me. I get joy when I think about what he's 
want for me? Oh, what he's done for me. I get joy when I think about Oh, what he's done for me. I get joy when I think Oh, what he's done for me. Put your hands you come to do. I don't know what you come to oh, do. Oh, I don't know what you come to do. You and you and you and you. You and you and you and you. I don't know what you come to do. I don't know what you come to do. I come to clap my hands. My hands. I come to clap my hands. My hands. I come to stop my feet. My feet. I come to give them praise. Give praise. I come to lift them up. Give praise. I come to lift them up. Him up. I come to lift them up.
come to lift them up. I 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 come to do my dance. 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 I come to bless his name. I come to bless his name. I come to bless his name. You want to bless him right there. Come on. Come on. You want to clap your hands. If he's been worthy, if he's been good to you, you want to stand on your feet. Clap your hands. Stop your feet. Open up your mouth. Give God great praise. I come to bless his name. His name. 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 I come to lift him up. Him up. 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 Higher, 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 higher. I come to lift them up. up. 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 Higher, 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 higher. Come on, clap your hands. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. God's been worthy. God's been worthy of all the glory. He's been worthy of all the praise. He's brought us here through another week. All the least you can do is get on your hands and clap your hands, stop your feet, giving them glory. Open up your mouth and tell God thank you. Come on, tell him thank you. Bless his name. Give him glory. He's a great God. Right here where we are, we're going to open up this part of the service to testimony and praise. Hallelujah. Give him great praise. Come on, come on, somebody got a testimony. I truly give God all the honor and glory on this holy Sabbath day. I thank and praise God for Bishop and Vance Jane and the household full of the ministries, the, the musician, and to the people of God. Love you very much. It's good to see Moses back there too. And Sister Darlene, the grandmother, I love you guys much. Woo! I thank and praise God for allowing me to be here on Thursday morning. <laughs> Woo! My God is good. At 6 o'clock, I give it 5 o'clock. By 6 o'clock in the morning, I had a massive nosebleed. Okay. Get past the nosebleed at um, 6.15. Horses already out the house. Um, Josh lives in Keswick. So I'm at the house by myself. My head spins. A um, lot of things were going on with my body. Um, didn't have no earthly idea of um, what was going on with me. 
I do know I deal with the high blood pressure medicine. I do know on last Sabbath when I asked the bishop to um, pray for the situation. I do know I praise my Jesus because I knew I was getting in trouble as of um, December 15th. I know these things was coming up on me. So long story short, not getting with age, but dealing with a um, type 2 diabetes. Never been sick a day in my life. You get to be age of 63 years old. All of a sudden, I got these things are coming along on me. So um, not accepting a type 2 diabetes, but dealing with it. Been doing wonderful with it and everything. Like I said, on Thursday morning, woke up, went through, called the host of doctors at the um, UVA, called the host of doctors at um, Martha Jefferson. I landed in Martha Jefferson on Thursday. Oh, my Lord. I went in. They um, um, asked me why was I there between the stroke versus the heart. And um, get past that, one of the, I guess, a triage nurse or something, it was a guy, and um, he said, why are you here? And he was telling, I told them what had happened to me at 6 o'clock versus 6.15 with the nosebleed and all, got it to, you know, to calm down and everything. And he said, well, when having a stroke, there's a window of um, six hours. You need to be, be in that at six hours. He had a little rough tone with him and everything of the other nature, whatever. So then long story short about, um, he said, I said, okay, so what's supposed to happen now? that I'm, not, I'm out of the window. He said, well, there's a medication we give to reverse. And I said, um, well, um, this, all the symptoms I'm having, um, they said that um, it was geared to the stroke. I said, absolutely not. I had um, called Brenda Drayford um, around the at nine something. I was out there dealing with Bella and the dog lot, cleaning it out. And I said, hey, Brenda, do me a favor. Call me up a couple of doctors at UVA. And I was working at Martha Jefferson trying to get me a heart doctor versus going into the um, the emergency room rather dealing with uh, primary care doctors are the two places I have to do. So I went on in, it got me situated and everything. And the guy that was so mean or whatever he was, he um, was, didn't like the fact that people of um, color wait, Afro-American people wait for this type of thing happen. We don't eat right and all this stuff. He started drilling me on, grilling me down with and everything. I said, sir, hold up, wait a minute. I said, I don't have no stroke. I didn't tell you I come here for I said, I had a nosebleed. They, my doctors told me to come in because of this. So they thought that all the something I had, there was stroke, but I'm not saying that. So they get me back. I did back there, and I said, um, the, uh, they, the ER doctor said that uh, you have to um, be admitted. I said, well, where's the call you always doctor at? You know, you guys are, are, these are not trying to be rude or nothing to nobody, I promise you. I really didn't. Oh, Lord. Long story short, I asked some people. I said, I got a Bible. <laughs> He looked at me, I was kind of crazy. I said, where's the Bible at? So I was, they didn't say like, get me a phone, a tablet, no, 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 bring me a paper back book. I opened my Bible and I sat there and, and I went through just, you know, forces and Josh came in and we all made, get to the emergency room. I was in there for a couple of hours. I said, hey guys, I started crying. I said, um, I didn't cry because I was like, they said a stroke or anything of the nature. I got my tears, I said, you know, when someone told me I got bad health, and I know I did everything I can, never drank, smoked, or used drugs, or been out there in a, in a crazy way to do anything to my body, my, you know, I run, hike, and I climb, I do a lot, so I said to the good Lord, you come to the house of God, you give me a, um, a dietary law to eat on, every now and then you can go off the page and come back, I do know when you're in the 40s, 50, verse 60, I'm not mid-60 yet, but I claim that, because I thank and praise God to be on this, um, on, to be my age and be here after 2000, um, October 1st, 2001 with the latex allergy. I knew I had to take the, um, the COVID shot. I knew that the things that was in the COVID, I knew that I would come back at this age and these things would come about. They said, well, mess with my heart a little bit. So as we going through and I read the Bible, Force and Joshua there, and I get up to one and just get some air after Christ. And they, all right, now you got to cry and you're get, get back to the game. And my little pride or feeling didn't get in the way or nothing. I just got tired of listening to what they were saying to me or whatever. It wasn't rude or nothing with them. So I got up to go. I said, I just want to get me some air. So as I got out of the ER bed, I walked to the door, hit the hallway, Joshua and I. One of the nurses said no, and she says, um, Felicia, where are you going? I said, I'm going to get me some air. Lady, I got to get me some air. So I got to regroup. She says no. So they took me back, and they want to start hooking me up with things. I said, lady, I wasn't trying to run. I just need some air, okay? I said, I got to consult the Lord on all this stuff. So long story short, I know that I have a bad latex allergy. I know that the ER is not a good place for me to be in because of the things that they have there that they got hooked me up with, and I'm, I'm going to have a, um, an issue with that. And I didn't want to have any more issues than what was already going on through my body, so I told the good Lord. Whew, I got past that. They got me up on the floor on yesterday um, about 4.30, no later than 6 o'clock. They had my heart going through. <laughs> 
they gave me an MRI. They did all these crazy things. They cleaned the blood from me and do all, and they did all they can do. Okay, and I said, do I have to stay another night? And they said, um, we would like to keep you just in case. So when the MRI came back around late after late evening hours, um, they said you never had, you didn't have a stroke. <laughs> I said. Woo. And I said that. So I knew I didn't have what they said I have. I only, all I know that I have a latex allergy. And then the doctor has the two doctors, cardiologist and the, the doctors on the floor, they put their hands together and they said, well, Felicia, about your heart. He has a hole in your heart. Now it's called the heart murmur. It's been there since birth. Okay, my mother had it. It's down through the, uh, today. And I said, okay, so if I don't have any issues here, and you did all this work, what do I do next? So anyway, they said, long story short, they said, it's, you got in trouble because of your um, high blood pressure. They said, when they gave you the uh, medicine, they, they, you should have been on two versus just the one. I said, really, they're not, I'm not on a high blood pressure medicine. I said, what they've done, they gave me something to release the fluid off my heart because I like to drink tons of water. So they didn't want the fluid to build up in my body like that. Long story short, get past all that, that we had trying to get out of there. So Felicia Johnson end up on the heart monitor. Melinda. A heart monitor, Felicia Johnson. They told me I couldn't go nowhere. They wanted me to stay at home. They got me monitored. They said I couldn't. I said, I just want to go to church. They said, no. Josh says, mom, don't go to church because you're going to praise your Jesus. That's absolutely right. They said, Felicia, you can't sweat. You can't do this. We got your monitor. If we feel anything that's other, not real, I said, well, there's a nurse in the church. Her name is Belinda. <laughs> For real? <laughs> yeah, Belinda, I told on you. <laughs> I said, I'm covered. I got the blood of Jesus. I'm in him. So check this out. I had to go down and get the MRI. This is the, this is the kicker of all of it. I'm sorry to take that time, but I'm just like, I'm glad it's alive. Trust me when I say it. I didn't cheat Jeff th cheated J death three times. I'm tripping on my words. Oh, Lord have mercy. Calm down. So um, I was, we, I, Al, you got to go get the uh, wheelchair comes up. The, uh, what do you call that? Transportation coming and get you. All right, so people in and out, picking me, taking me, whatever. This young lady comes in. An African American girl comes in and she we get um, she comes to the door, everybody says hello. I sit in the chair, we're rolling down the hallway. Long story short, we're rolling down and I said, um, man, I really don't want to do this one because I don't I know I don't have what I have, but okay, Lord, I gotta do this. So I said that uh, the little girl, the young lady said to me, she said, um, she said, hi, and she says, um, she, she said to me, she said, um, do you know the Raglans? I said, what? I turned around in that chair and looked up at it. It was Mara. It, what's her name? Some, um, Rachel's daughter. Whatever her name. Lamara. I said, what? You came in the room? Pick, put me in a chair? Lord have mercy. I did not know you. She turns around and I looks up at her and I kept calling her Rachel. I said, I do apologize because I'm not going to remember your name like that. So long story short, she said, Felicia, so we talked, she says, and the way she said, do you know the Raglans? Right then and there, I felt a deliverance with my situation. I said, oh my God, I, said, I just felt Jesus. <laughs> I stood up a little bit and she said, Felicia, no. I said, no, I'm, I'm good, I'm good. So the, the young lady said to me, she said, Felicia, she said, I was having a bad day, but I'm not having a bad day now. I said, look at God. So I just want to thank and praise God. Thank you all for your time. Thank God for Felicia still here. Thank God I can't move. The music is great. The song is wonderful. Oh, Jesus. Is wonderful. I just want to sing a little bit of Belinda um, song and Felicia, Sister Keena, if I don't mind. Since I can't praise my Jesus, I got to be real quiet because I'm on a monitor. And they said, Felicia, if you do anything, you're going to come back in. So I'm not trying to go back into the hospital, okay? So I can sing, right? So I just want to praise him. I just want to praise you forever and ever and ever for all you've done, done for me. Blessings and glory, and I, they all belong to you. Thank you, Jesus, for blessing me. Come on, all of the 
building. Oh, I just want to praise you. Just, just want to praise you. Oh, forever. Forever. Everything you've done. And ever. And ever. And ever. For all. For all. You've done. You've done. You've done, done for me. me. Oh, and blessings, blessings. Blessings yeah. and glory. Hallelujah in our spirit. We give you the highest praise, go God. You are holy. Yeah, yeah. Come on, with your hands lifted up. Hear your mouth filled with praise. Come on, Zion, yeah. Come on, Zion. Come on, Zion. Come on, Zion. Come on, Zion. I give you the glory. I give you the honor. It is to your name. It is to your name. You are worthy. You are worthy. 
of the glory and the honor of the glory and the honor. Come on, Zion. Open up your mouth. Open up your mouth and give our God great praise. Oh, yeah. Come on, come on. Come on, Zion. Come on, Zion. Come on, you ought to give him praise. You ought to open up his mouth. You ought to celebrate him. You ought to tell him there's no other God like you. And besides, there is no other. You are El Shaddai. You are Elohim. And I love you. I praise you. Hiya. He coming out here. God, I thank you. Hey, Lord. Hey, oh. God, we cry out to you. God, we cry out to you. 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 With our hands lifted up, our mouth filled with praise. You only wise God that we know. That we know. You're the only wise God that we know. You're the only wise God that we know. We celebrate you. We adore you, yeah. Come on, come on right there. If you can get yourself out of that worship. Hey, glory to God. Come on, Zaya. Have your way, oh God. Oh, oh, oh. Whatever you need is here. Whatever you need is here. The altar is open. Hey. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. There's a sound in the house. There's a worship in the house. There's an ascension in the house. There's an ascending in the house. We on a open heaven. We on a open heaven. We're on a open cloud. Hey. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, give him praise. Come on, give him God. He's a great God. Another testimony, somebody. Well, we're going to stay right here in this travail. Open up your mouth and shout glory. Shout glory, glory, glory. Hey. his wife and everybody in the house on today. I'm just so thankful and I'm so grateful. Um, this is the 28th of January, and I said I was not going to let this month go out without giving God the praise and glory and honor. I'm going to, um, I, I don't know if anyone has done this before, but I always go back from the first Sunday, if I was going to church on Sunday, I'm, I'm going to church on Saturday now, so I'll go back to the first Saturday that Apostle Jane Ragland gave us the first topic of the year. And I goes back, <laughs> and I put them together, and I asked the Lord, I said, Lord, what are you telling me? So, I look at it, and it says, bouncing back after church hurt. And then I go, and I said, like, okay, all right, we got it. Then I said, still, this is the year to know God's word. I said, oh, okay, all right, I got it. So then I said, break up the fellow ground. It's time to follow God. Okay, I got it. So what are you telling me, Lord? Are you fully committed? Yes. Okay, what else? So don't change for what God told you. I said, okay. So I'm going to trickle back on last night. 
walk in the light. <laughs> so I said, Lord, thank you, because he said, the light that I have given you, I need for you to walk in it. You know what your calling is. You know what I have given you to do. So you need to put everything else on the back burner that does not give me the glory and walk in the light. So you are the light. You are the church. You are the gifted one to encourage, uplift, and have everybody feel it to the point that they can come to you. So what you going to do? What did I say? You are light up on a hill that cannot be covered. So you shine in your home, in your job, in the grocery store, wherever you go, even at the traffic light. Look over, smile, and then just look back straight ahead. So I said, Lord, well, thank you. I don't know what the word is for today, but whatever it is, this is the last Saturday in this month. So I'm going after it, Apostle. I'm going after it. Thank y'all. Oh, bless his name. Oh, bless his name. Happy Sabbath, everyone. Happy God Sabbath. blessings. God blessings. God blessings. Sister Zelda, I hear the song, I'm grateful, and I am. I am so grateful. Healing in the name of Jesus, I'm grateful. Healing in the name of Jesus, I'm grateful. Healing in the name of Jesus, I'm grateful. Hallelujah, I'm grateful. Holy Ghost, take charge right now, Father. I thank God for Apostle. I thank God for Lady Jane. I thank God for her family and the household of faith today. I am so grateful. I heard that song I hear that's a pretty, woo, glory, hallelujah. I am grateful. Heal, glory, hallelujah, I'm grateful. I thank God for traveling mercies. I thank God for just giving us another opportunity to see life once again on this side. I thank God for just giving us an opportunity to see my little grandson, he's a doll. He is a doll. I thank God for his mother. She's a trooper. She's healing so wonderfully. She went to the doctor on yesterday, and God is blessing her tremendously. I just thank God for her little family now. I thank God for he's given us another opportunity to get it right. I said, Lord, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you for new mercies. I thank you even for my, um, my principal. She allowed me to just go for those weeks. And I said, that's odd. Uh, she said, no, darling, you have done so much for me. When I'm down, you are always here. And you don't never know what people are going through. I said, you know some Lord, if I am a light, as sister said, you can be that light. Walk in it. You don't know what people are going through. And I said, Lord, I'm asking you to give me what you need to give me so I can walk right there in it. I'm just praying. I'm happy. I'm glorious. I'm just looking for new things for God in my life. He's doing just that. New additions. And I was laughing on last week because... Um, Lachey's husband's sister. They was tearing for the Holy Ghost, and I said, oh, another birth, another birth. And they was, I'm telling you, it made me, my heart glad. God is ready to do some things, saints. Let's walk in it. Surrender. If you're a sinner, let's say I'm a sinner. Then you can start all over again. Go ahead and go forth, saints. Don't look back. Don't look, you know, go to the left or the right. Let God work for you, and he will do just that. I want y'all to pray for me and my family in Jesus' name. Y'all keep looking forward with saints and doing what God asked you to do in Jesus' name. Beautiful, beautiful, wonderful, wonderful. We're going to lift up this, this uh, we'll lift it up one time, and we're going to ask for the mic to give, be given to Sister Zelda. I'm sorry. I'm grateful for the things that you have done. Yes, I'm, come on everybody, grateful for the victories, I could go on and on and on about your words, because I'm grateful, grateful, so grateful just to praise you, Lord. Blowing, yeah. Blowing from my heart. Are the issues of? Are the issues of my heart? His gratefulness. His gratefulness. 
Lift that up with us. Yes, I'm grateful for the victories we won. I could go on. I could go on and on and on about your word. Because I'm grateful. Because I'm grateful, grateful, so grateful. Just to praise you, Lord. Flowing, 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 flowing from my heart. Are the issues of the issues of my heart? Come on, one more time. Flowing, flowing, yeah. Flowing from my heart Are the years you love Are the years you love Come on, come on, come on My heart Flowing, flowing, flowing Flowing from my heart are the issues of love? Are the issues of, of my heart? heart. My heart. His gratefulness. His gratefulness. God, I could have been dead and gone. But you saw divine. You decided, you decided to save me, save me, save me. Oh, and I'm grateful. Oh, I'm so grateful. I could have been down and out, but you saved me, Lord. Oh, oh. From my heart, I love you. Heart, I love you. For setting me free. For setting me free. For washing me clean. Oh, for loving me, Lord, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I love you, Lord. Flowing from my heart. to my boat. While you have to lift your hands and tell the Father something. We love you, we love you, we love you, we love you. You are great and mighty, oh God. You are great and mighty, oh God. Yeah. There ain't no other like you, oh God. We love you, we love you, oh God. Come on, come on, give them some worship. Give them some praise, yeah. We love you, we love you, we love you. We love you, we love you, we love you.
Come on and can we say praise the Lord. Hallelujah. How many are grateful for what God has done and what God is still doing in our lives? Praise God. For God has done great things for us. This week since I seen you last, he has done great things for me. And when I look around and I see you, he has done great things for you. You may not tell me, but things I can see. And Sister Sheila Pennington was saying this song, I have legs to walk. I see God has done great things. I have eyes to see. I see that God has done great things. Hallelujah. And I know that Jesus is looking out for me. And God is looking out for you. That's why I can say I'm grateful for what he has done. And I'm grateful for what he's still doing. And I'm grateful today, hallelujah. Because we know as we stand today, God has done great things. Hallelujah. 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 Sounds like I was down and out. Hallelujah. But God has done great things. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Could have been dead and gone. Hallelujah. But God, hallelujah, was grateful enough. Hallelujah. But he kept me in the land of the living one more time. Yes. I shall not know what I ask you. Glory to God. We are grateful today. We are grateful for this Sabbath that God has allowed us to come. And to he goes one more time. For praises of thanksgiving. I say to God, be the glory, be the rush, glory to my last, for the things that he has done and still doing. Hallelujah, glory. glory.
God. Can you stand on your feet at this time? We ask everyone to stand. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Just by chance, if you didn't have legs to walk, how would you praise God? Just by chance, if you didn't have hands to clap, how would you praise God? Mm. Just by chance, if you couldn't talk and didn't have a tongue, how would you praise God? If by chance, hallelujah, you was not in your right mind, how would you praise God? I'm not sure what I say. By chance, what would you do to praise God? You got good eyes, two good hands, two good feet, in your right mind. Why can't we praise God? Well, what no If by chance, if all these days were taken from us, mm. praise God. Yes. Oh, glory. brothers. Y'all are sharp in your new suits. Y'all looking good today, young boys. Young men in your nice looking young, your nice looking suits today. Praise God. <laughs> they sharp. <laughs> <They, laughs> Y'all clean today, young men. Amen. I see you. Why are you standing? You can't beat God's giving. No matter how you try. And just as sure as you're living in the Lord is heaven's high. The more you give, the more he give to you. But keep on giving because it's really true that you can't beat God's giving no matter how you try. In the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verses 6 through 7, for this I say, he which soweth sparely shall reap also sparely, and he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Every man according as his purpose in his heart, so let him give. Not grudgingly nor necessity, for the Lord loveth a cheerful giver. And God is able to make all grace abound towards you, that ye always, having all sufficient in all things, may abound to every good work. Luke chapter 6, 38 said, Given it shall be given unto you, good measure, pressed down and checking together and running over. Shall men give unto your bosom, for with the same Measure that ye meant with all, it shall be measured to you again. Malachi chapter 3, beginning at verse 1, picking up with verse 3 through verse 12. Behold, I've sent my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me, and the Lord whom ye shall seek shall surely come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant whom ye delight in. Behold, he shall come, say the Lord of hosts. For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Even from the days of your father, you're gone from my ordinance and have not kept them. Return unto me, and I will return unto you, said the Lord of hosts. But ye say, wherein shall we return? Will a man rob God, yet ye have robbed me? But ye say, wherein have we robbed thee? In tithes and offerings. 
Ye are cursed with a curse, for ye have robbed me, even this whole nation. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house, and prove me now. He will say, the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that I should not be rum enough to receive it. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes, and you shall not destroy the fruits of your ground, neither shall your vine cast their fruits before the time in the field, said the Lord of hosts. And all nations shall call you blessed, for ye shall be a delightsome land, said the Lord of hosts. At this time, Apostle Regla will come and bless our offering. God bless. Amen. While you're standing with your offering in your hand, I thank God how he has allowed me to bring a gift and present it to him in his house. It didn't have to be that way, but I thank him. So gracious Father, today we come to say thank you. Father, we thank you for your blessings how you tremendously blessed us. You blessed us with all that it takes to sustain life. And we said thank you. So, Father, now we come to return a portion of that that you've given us. We bring 10% of our increase in the form of our tithes. And thank you, Lord, for having the knowledge and the willingness to do that. And, Father, we also bring a free will gift to you that is without limitation. And we said thank you. So, Father, we ask that you would bless both the gift and the giver. We pray, Lord, that what we bring be used to build up your kingdom, turn down Satan's. For all of you, bless in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. shall forget what he's done for me. Oh, 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 what he's done for me. Oh, 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 what he's done for me. Oh, 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 what he's done for me. I never shall forget what he's done. Oh, 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 what he's done for me. What he's done for me, never shall forget what he's done.
all things come of thee, O Lord, and of thine own have we given thee. Amen. We thank God for this portion of the service. Amen. This time we're going to have remarks. Amen. For our, we have a guest with us today. We're going to have remarks from, from her, Sister Hayes. Amen. Amen. You have, like, have something to say today, the Sabbath. Following her, we're going to ask our other ministers in the audience, Sister Teresa, to have remarks. Praise God. I thank God. <laughs> I thank God for waking me up this morning. And I thank God. Hello? <laughs> I thank God for being here today with all of you. God is so good. And I love hallelujah anyhow. Never let your troubles get you down. Because when the trials come your way, lift your head up high and say hallelujah anyhow. Thank God for being here. Thank God for everyone. And I just feel like I'm so blessed to be a part of this church. I've only been here for a few years. I've been looking for a church home, and it's been really difficult. But my sister over here, I love I call her Mom Edith. That's my mom. And so thank you. Thank you so much because I'm really enjoying myself here. The spirit hit me, and I was getting ready to go crazy in here. But I, I thank God. Thank you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Sister, I will go crazy with you. <laughs> so you go ahead and go. And I'm right behind you. I got your back. Okay. Amen. Hallelujah. We bless God. Oh, my God. Because I feel a crazy praise. Hallelujah. 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 I bless the Lord today. I give honor to my apostle, to Lady Jane. Amen. All the other ministers, deacons, saints, and friends. Can I do one for you? Yeah. I, I, I just felt it. I, I can't do it like that. I, I just feel it. Y'all know how she do. Yeah. Hey! Glory! Hallelujah! I can feel that thing. Hallelujah! Let's not get her too excited. That's why I did it for her. Amen. You sit down. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. God is a good God. Hallelujah. <laughs> we bless God today. I'm, I'm so happy in my heart. Amen. I'm so glad. I, you know, I told somebody I was going to, uh, what that word I use? What that word I use? I said I was going to not be here today. I was going to take a break because I was so tired. Amen. I forgot the word I used. Amen. But my sister said to me, she said, well, I was going to church with you tomorrow. I said, I'm going tomorrow. I'm going. Hallelujah. I am so happy Woo. to have my baby sister sitting beside me. Hallelujah. Now, y'all got siblings. Y'all know how we do sometimes. But bet nobody else mess with them. Amen. Hallelujah. But I was so excited when she said she wanted to come. Y'all don't know the story. And I ain't going to tell you. Amen. But I was so excited when she. Oh, I'm talking about shut down. Woo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm so happy. I'm so happy today. I came down the road joyous. Hot tada. Couldn't wait to go crazy. So you go crazy now so I can go with you. Amen. Hallelujah, 
Hallelujah. I just want to tell my baby sister in front of everybody, I love you, girl. And there's nobody like you. Oh, I, tell you about, I, got, I got other sisters. I love them, too. Hallelujah. But this is my baby sister. Hallelujah. And I'm grateful. It feels good. I'm going to say it one more time. It feels good to have my sister at the Sabbath day with me. Hallelujah. 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 I've been waiting for this moment, First Lady. I've been waiting for this moment. Somebody going to come be with me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'm so grateful. I'm so thankful. Sheila, I'm so happy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The devil is a liar. Hallelujah. He want to destroy families. But I don't know about y'all, but I'm not going to let him do it. Hallelujah. He's not going to destroy my family. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. She's the crybaby, but on today, I'm just grateful. Hallelujah. I'm just grateful for Honor Apostle Raglan to Lady Jane, to my sister, to all the ministers. I just thank God for being here. I thank God for just feeling his presence. There's nothing like coming to, into the house of the Lord and being able to feel his presence. I thank God for the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. Thank God for it being a leader, a God, a keeper, a protector. I just thank God. I'm just feeling good. I'm just overwhelmed, but I just bless God. I thank God for what he's doing between me and my sister. As she said, the devil wanted to destroy our relationship. But I thank God over the last few months how God is just restoring. Hallelujah. <laughs> He's just bringing us closer and closer and closer. And I just bless God. You know, we, we lost our mom, and that's hard. And I need her. Amen. And, she, and I know she needs me. We need each other. So I just bless God. Yesterday, we got to spend some quality time together. We haven't done that in a long, long time. You know, she called me and so you want to do this? And first thing I want to say, well, I got this and this and this to do. And the Lord told me to just to slow down. You need this time with your sister. And I thank God we took a ride. And it was 
priceless. So I just bless God for just being in the house. I thank God for his presence. And sister, I love you. And there's nothing that anybody can do about it. Amen. Y'all just pray my strength in the Lord. There, she's good. Amen. But we do all in the spirit of Christ. We all know our pastor, our leading lady. Amen. Again, we on we on our leaders on today. We on everyone in their respected places. We on our church mother. Just thank God for being back in His house one more time. Thank God for traveling grace one more time. Thank God for just everything He's doing in my life. If I can leave you with anything, all I would say is every time I turn around, I said every time I turn around, the Lord is blessing. The Lord is keeping me. Pray my shit then, Lord. Here we go. Somebody ought to praise. Somebody ought to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, man. Somebody said, won't he do it? <laughs> won't he do it? Won't he do it? Hallelujah. Thank the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. I feel all right today. I had a birthday on yesterday. Same as you years. Lord bless me. The Lord keep me. I thank God because I'm saved, sanctified, holy ghost feel by that guy. I got Jesus on my side. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. My, 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 my. Been on to Apostle James Raglan, Shepherd his house, Vance Raglan, I need a lady, Vance Goodwin, Minister. All the members on the floor. My wife, Mother Emily Raglan, I want to say I thank God for everybody that thought of me on my birthday. Amen. I got phone calls. I got video. I got cards. Amen. I got thank you. The folks that show you that they love you. Amen. You got, Bob says, uh, first be love, you got to show love. Amen. I, people attack me and stuff that I paid me and stuff. I don't even know. I didn't even know half of them. But I thank God when you show love. Amen. You receive love. Amen. I, I, I thank God for the blessing. My wife, we were going yesterday, shop yesterday on yesterday. Evening, my wife would tell me we, we, we got the report where we pay, you know, what church, and, and where, where we get the Lord in tithes. And I told her, I said, you know what? The Lord said, if you bless his house, amen, he'll bless your house. Amen. Sometimes we need blessing, but we won't bless God's house. Amen. 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 
Well, I, I, I thank God because we living good. Amen. Amen. We ain't living rich, but we living good. Amen. I'm living comfortable. <laughs> Amen. Thank God for my wife. Amen. Good woman. Amen. Amen. Good woman. Amen. Made me. Amen. Made me. To t- she trained me to keep my mouth shut a lot of time. And sometimes I have to keep my mouth shut on her. Amen. But it, it all works. Amen. It's all good. Amen. I thank her. Amen. 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 You got, you got to appreciate a good woman. Amen. I thank God for my wife. Amen. She been by my side. She been with me. Amen. We living comfortable. We ain't living rich, but we living comfortable. Amen. Problem with black folks try to live rich. Poor folks try to live too rich. Ain't got nothing. Amen. Thank God we living comfortable. Amen. Amen. Pay your tithes. He said he'll pour the blessing out of your witness a heaven that you cannot receive. I thank God I'm happy today. Amen. I'm happy today. Amen. In life now, all I want to be comfortable. All I want now is happiness. Amen. I'm not preaching for material day no more. I'm reaching for I'm happy and joy. And when I leave here, I want to hear him say, well done. That good and faithful servant. You've been faithful. Come on home to me. I'm going to make a rule. I'm a man. Y'all pray my strength for the Lord. Hallelujah. Woo. Give honor to the Lord today. Give an honor to the Lord. Give an honor to the Lord for my. Truly, I give honor to the Lord today. Give an honor to the Lord for our pastor, our leading lady, glory to God, to all the ministers, the mothers. Hallelujah, glory to all that are assembled in the house of God one more time. Thank and praise the Lord for all those on Zoom, Facebook. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Thanking God for them. Hallelujah. Thanking God he's blessed us to see one more Sabbath. Hallelujah. This high and holy Sabbath. Hallelujah. Where we can give, come in and give him praise, glory, and honor. He allows us six days to do what we want to do. And this is his day, glory to God. Hallelujah. That we have celebrate all of creation with him. Praise be to God. I not thank and praise the Lord, glory to God, for my husband, glory to God, and for my children. And I'm happy in my soul today because I have four daughters here today. Woo! That's hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have four daughters. Hallelujah. Present today, glory to God. Hallelujah. I thank the Lord for my absent family. And I thank and praise God. Hallelujah for, hallelujah, your families. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. I just thank God for all of his goodness. Thank the Lord that I've had a cold. Praise the Lord. And I'm a little hoarse still. But I felt real good with this cold, though. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thanking the Lord for the word from time to time. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And striving, hallelujah, to come up to the word and do all that God would have me to do in these last and evil days. Praise the Lord. Thank and praise God. Hallelujah. Last night, glory to God, I didn't realize that my husband had called to see where I was because I was a little late coming home. Glory to God. But I was with one of my daughters, the reason why. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And I thank and praise the Lord. Glory to God. When I got home, he had a nice warm fire. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Had the table set. Hallelujah. For us to sit down and eat. And hallelujah, glory to God. We had a lovely meal together. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Thank God. Thank God. God, Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. And we thank God for all of his goodness and how he's moving in times like this. How the changes that are being made. Hallelujah. For the signs, miracles, and wonders. Praise God, my soul. My daughter here, glory to God. Hallelujah. 
Uh, we met at the post office, glory to God, in hallelujah, glory to God, in Troy, bless the Lord. And we began talking. She said, she, I reminded her of a mother, praise God. From that instant on, she became my daughter, praise God. I don't choose people. God choose them for me. Holy Ghost, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. And I thank God for the daughters that I have, Sister Jones and Sala, uh, Sister Esther. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And I thank God. I'm just so happy in my soul. Because she had been wanting to come for a long time. But now was the time that God had for her to be here today. And I'm happy. Oh, Lord, am I happy. Glory to God. Oh, shalom. Shalom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord. And I just pray that, hallelujah, the Lord will enable her, hallelujah, to know where he wants her to be. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Continue to bless, hallelujah, and one another. Pray for one another, glory to God, because these are some hard times and everybody's going through something. Hallelujah, glory to God. We need to pray one for another. Truly, glory to God. I'm so sad. Hallelujah. Looking forward to the word coming forth. And I'm happy in my soul for salvation. When you see all this craziness and hear all this craziness is going on, you can be thankful that God counted you worthy. You didn't count yourself worthy. No, no, no. If it wasn't for God choosing you, catching your heart, moving on you, you wouldn't be here today. And I thank God the day he moved on my heart. Hallelujah, glory to God. Thank God for salvation through Christ Jesus. And thank God for the blessed Holy Ghost that keeps us. Hallelujah, glory to God. In a time like this, I'm so happy. I'm saved and I'm sanctified. You hear me, many people say, but they are sanctified much anymore. But I'm saved and sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost. I'm not cranktified in no way. I'm sanctified. Praise God. Hallelujah. Pray for me and my family. Holy Ghost, help me. Oh, oh. At this time, we want to have remarks from our church mother, Mother M. Amen. Let's give her a hand. Amen. Jane was going to do that. I felt it in my spirit. <laughs> but I do honor the Lord for being here. But I thank God the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done for me. My soul cries out, hallelujah. Thank God for saving me. I do honor the Lord for my person here to our pastor, Apostle Jane, the leader, later to all the minister, everybody here in the name of Jesus. <clears throat> Look at me, I'm getting the hose. Maybe I should have stayed at home. But I just thank and praise God for that being in the lanes of the living, in my right mouth active with my limbs. Yes, God has been good to me. He's continued to bless my soul. And I praise him for that. As you ought to pray, my hand is in the Lord. Amen. We like to give. Thanks to all the remarks, amen. Before we hear from our solo on tonight, we'd like to remind you that after service, we have pasta, amen. And we have enough for everybody, whether you bought something or not. But this is what we're going to do. I don't think we're not asking Mother M, amen, to take charge of the kitchen because that's too much for her, amen. But we're going to ask the men. All men, if you can get together and set up the kitchen. Is that all right, women? We want to see how the men going to do it. Is that all right, women? Yeah. Amen. So we want you. <laughs> we thank God for Brother Quentin. You're going to work today, baby. <laughs> We have we have plenty. We want to ask you. I got things in my trunk, and the men gonna have to get it out and set up the kitchen. Amen. Warm up the food. Amen. There's plenty for everybody. Uh, Minister Wesley, we got your birthday salad. Amen. We have your seven layer birthday salad. Amen. Praise God. Amen. At this time, we're gonna have our solo coming from our minister. 
Chandler. Amen. And following him, we're going to ask our brother, John Raglan, if you will come and introduce our speaker after the solo. God bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord again. Amen. Anybody just need more of God? Amen. The song says increase. Amen. We, we take about finances, but sometimes we just need more of God. More of his spirit, more of his anointing, more of his love, his patience. Amen. Patience. More of his peace and his joy. Amen. Bless me. Bless me. Oh, Lord. And bless me indeed, enlarge my territory, oh Lord, bless me indeed, I pray for increase. Say increase, increase, oh Lord, and bless me indeed, enlarge my territory, oh Lord, bless me indeed. I pray for increase. Can you help me say, bless me, bless me, bless me, oh Lord, oh Lord. bless me indeed, enlarge my territory. Oh Lord, bless me indeed. I pray for it. Bless me indeed. Increase, increase, increase. Oh Lord. Bless me indeed, my territory, my territory, oh Lord, bless me indeed. Upon me that no evil cannot harm me. Sunshine and rain, sickness and pain, Lord, I only come to you. I need you to enlarge, enlarge my territory. Oh, enlarge, enlarge my territory. I need you to enlarge, enlarge my territory. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, bless me indeed. Keep your hands, keep your hands upon me, that no evil can not harm me. Sunshine and rain, sickness and pain, Lord, I am. We come to you. 
I need you to enlarge, enlarge my territory. I want you to enlarge, enlarge my territory. Lord, I need more of you, Jesus, enlarge. I want to walk in your light, Lord, enlarge. Enlarge my day. I need more love, Lord, enlarge. Enlarge my day. I need more joy, Lord, enlarge. Enlarge my day. Lord, I need your peace, enlarge. Patience in life. I need more and more of you, Lord. I need more and more of you, Lord. I want to walk like you, Jesus, in life. I want to talk like you, Jesus, in life. Like you, Jesus, in life. Enlarge my in every aspect of my life, I need you to enlarge. enlarge my oh, 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 enlarge. Enlarge my Lord, I need you to enlarge. Enlarge my Oh, Lord. Thank God for being here today. And um, I've been gone for a while. They haven't been feeling good, but I just want to thank him today. And I want to induce the pastor today, Pastor Apostle Ragland. And everybody give him an amen. amen. God bless you. Thank you, Brother John. I give honor to the Lord and simply thank him for him allowing me to be in his house on today. Amen. It's so, so good to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. I give honor to my wife and our leading lady, Evangelist Jane Raglan. I thank God for uh, Elder Thurston and Lady Thurston. They were out today and Evangelist Farlow and Evangelist Turner, who are in different locations on today. I thank God for a Evangelist Goodwin. Amen. Thank God for her and uh, that is Teresa Mitchie and Mr. Esther, Mr. Wesley, Mr. Chandler. Thank God for um, our church mother, Mother M, to our deacons. Um, Mr. Esther, thank God for you. I thank God for um, I believe it's Minister Gwen, is it not? It is, is it not? Thank God for Minister Gwen uh, Johnson being with us on today. And that's uh, Mr. Teresa. And Teresa said that was her sister. Um, I thank God for all of you. I thank God for, um, I believe, our sister Hayes is um, worshiping with us on the day. And uh, she's met uh, Evangelist Goodwin. And, she made her way to the house of the Lord. To you, 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 and you, if I don't call you all by name, I see your faces, and I thank God for you. I remember some years ago, and not that they have retired, but there were, you know, with the pandemic, you don't get a lot of group singing, choir singings, and things of that nature. It just was not 
good for us to be in close proximity as things kind of free up a little bit. We're seeing more and more of that. But there was these four sisters that sung together. And they were called the Mitchie sisters. <laughs> and they still are. Uh, as Minister Gwen stated, they lost their mother um, a few months ago. And they sharing in the care of their father, Bishop Mitchie. Um, but I want them to take us back a little bit. You don't have to do a whole lot of anything. You, know how, you don't have to do a whole lot. All right. But I just want you to do something for us today. Amen. This is two of the mission sisters. God bless you. Y'all know this is unexpected. We haven't done this in years. Just help us out. Amen. Here's my living in bed. Here's my living in vain. Yeah. Here's my living in vain. Here's my living in vain. Is my praying in vain? Is my praying in vain? Is my praying in vain? just a little bit of what we have gotten down through the years. And I thank God for their testimonies and, and for them having the Spirit of God to be able to recognize when Satan trying to do something. But greater is he that is in me than he that's in the world. Oh, I bless the Lord. See, I want you to understand that God instituted families when he put Adam and Eve out of the Garden of Eden. And ever since then, Satan has tried to destroy them. Huh? But you have the responsibility 
just said, stay up. You may as well move on down the road because you have no place, you have no lot here. Before I move on, let me say this. Sometimes when you think you're right, even you know you're right, you don't take down for the right, but you don't let Satan use your right to separate you from your family. You understand that? It's kind of like being in an intersection. You got a green light. And you see somebody coming the other direction, wide open, and you think you're going to go through the light just because it's green? Oh, you're right. But you might be dead right. Don't let Satan destroy anything. Several of you, I believe it started with Sister Darlene talking about being grateful. And I believe Brother Brown started it on last week. And, and then here's Sister Zelda. And then the praise team came back and today and talked about being grateful. And I believe I heard, I think, Mr. Gwen said something about being grateful. And I just kind of today, I've heard it several times. But let me take you back about 50 years, amen? Because I heard you saying I'm grateful for all that. But about 50 years ago, it was like this. I am so grateful. 
Oh, to have Christ all in my life. What would my life be without him? It would be there, very dark and drear. When I am sad, he cheers me. When I am lonely, y'all know saints get lonely. He will my comfort be. That's why I'm grateful, truly grateful, oh, to have Christ in my, in my life, I am so grateful. Oh, to have Christ all in my, in my life. What would my life be without him? It would be there. Very dark and dream when I am sad, he cheers me when I am lonely, he will my comfort be that's why I'm grateful truly grateful oh to have Christ to have Christ in my life I am so grateful oh to have Christ, have him all in my life. What would my life be without him? It would be very, very dark and drear when I am sad he cheers me when I am lonely he will my comfort be that's why I'm grateful truly grateful oh to have Christ, to have Christ, oh, to have Christ in my, all in my life. Gracious Father, we come at this hour to say thank you. Father, we thank you for how you blessed us. You blessed us with life, health, and strength. You blessed us with food, raiment, and shelter. Oh, Father, we thank you for the ways you've made for us. Lord, I thank you for the doors you've opened. And I even thank you for the doors you've closed. Lord, I thank you for how you've been there with us. Hallelujah. In our down setting, in our uprising, you have made your presence known. And today, Father, as we present your word to your people, Father, we ask that you would be with us. Hallelujah. Let the words that we speak, hallelujah, be seasoned with love and with grace. Hallelujah, Lord. Let the word touch somebody's heart. 
that it may invoke change. Hallelujah, Lord. Somebody will know that you love them, that you died for them. Hallelujah, Lord, that you've always been there for them. Hallelujah. For all these blessings, in your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Today we are glad to be here, and I thank God for Sister Nancy. Sister Nancy said that she was keeping track of everything that's been said over the month, and I like that. I like that. So, Sister Nancy, our thought today is a special place for special people. Huh? A special place for a special people. See, some of you, maybe in your life has never been told that you were special unless somebody tried to make a derogatory inference. Huh? But I want you to know the day that you are very special. Huh? You know, we'd be surprised to know how many people have never had anybody to tell them that they were loved. I mean, I, we assume that in our families that you're going to hear, I love you. Huh? There are children that never have never heard the words, I love you, unless it was associated with something sexual. Huh? So when people don't hear that they are loved, when people don't hear that they are special, when somebody come along with the wrong intent and tell them these things, they fall vulnerable to it. But I stand here today to let you know that you're special. Hallelujah. And God loves you. And I love you. And I know the saints also love you. We need to share our, and express our love one to another, one to another. Because as I give you the scriptures today, one of the things that you will find out just how much God loves you. God loves us, and, I, and go with me to the book of um, Hebrews chapter 1, and verse 13. Hebrews 1 and 13. But to which of the angels said he at any time, sit on my right hand, until I make thy enemies thy footstool? God never told the angels to sit on my right hand. Hallelujah. But don't you recognize God has prepared that for you? Hallelujah. He has, he has made ways for you. He said, yes, they're talking about the angels. Are they not ministering spirits sent forth to minister what? For them whom shall be heirs of salvation. You are the heir of salvation. And because you are the heir of salvation, God sent the angels for you. He didn't send you to serve the angels. He loved you so much. That he sent the angels to serve you. I understand why the psalm was written some time ago. All night. All day. Angels. Watching over me, my Lord. Huh? Because I can look in the word. And I can see time after time after time. How God loved his people so much. That he sent the angels. To their rescue. God loved his people so much. Hallelujah. That he dispatched them. In the time of trouble. When they called upon the name of the Lord. See I, I, I believe when I call upon the name of the Lord. God has already have an angel. That he is assigned just to James. Huh? I believe that he has an angel. Hallelujah. We told him he got a blessing with my name on it. Oh, I got believe that God got an angel with my name on it, huh? He got an angel when I call on him. Hallelujah. I don't know whether it's Michael, Gabriel, whoever it may be. He'll say, go and see my, my son James. Hallelujah. And he send him to our rescue. And I thank God for loving me that much. Go with me to the book of St. John, chapter 14. This scripture is read many times. At funerals, ain't nobody, ain't nobody there today, huh? This ain't no funeral, but I just want to use this verse, these verses to show you just how much God loves you. This is what he said to his disciples 
let not your heart be troubled. Huh? You believe in God? He said, do you believe in God? Then believe also in me. Hallelujah. This is Jesus talking to his disciples. You say you believe in God? Now believe in me. And this is what he said. In my father's house. First of all, I'm glad to know that my father got a house. But he said, in my father's house, there are many mansions. Not a little lean-to. Not a little shack. But in my father's house are many mansions. Oh, bless the Lord. And if it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. I love you that much. Hallelujah. That the, the mansions and that's in my father's house. He said, I'm going to check on it. Because I love you that I have a special place for you. Why? Because you are my special people. I, I don't think many times as we go through this life, we fail to recognize just how special we are in the sight of the Lord. We get dogged, we get put down, we get talked about by people, and sometimes that overshadows us to really, really, really understand that the love of God that he has for us. For God so loved the world. God so loved you. God so loved you. And God so loved you that he gave. That's how special you are. That he gave his only begotten son. Hallelujah. I, don't, I know people, a lot of people love me. But I don't see them giving up their children for me. But God said, you are just that special to me. You are so special, hallelujah, that I gave my son for you. And now the son is speaking, and the son is saying, in my father's house, there are many mansions. Hallelujah. If it wasn't so, I wouldn't have told you, but I'm going there, and I'm going to prepare a place for you. And he said, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again. And receive you unto myself. Somebody said that's what love looked like. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's how love looked. He said, I know the mansion is there. I know that in my father's house there are many mansions. And I'm going to check on yours. Hallelujah. And when I check on yours, when the time is right. Hallelujah. When there is the fullness of time, I'm going to come again. And I'm going to receive you unto myself. Why? Because that where I am. There you may be also. Hallelujah. See, some people talk about they love you, but they don't want you around them. They don't want you in their company. They really don't have nothing to deal with you, nothing to do with you. But he said, I love you so much. That's how special you are to me. That when this earthly home, or this earth, there is no home here for you anymore. There is nothing else here for you. He said, I have prepared a place for you. I'm going to come get you. Hallelujah. Sometimes at death, we just fall apart. Huh? Look like our world will come to an end. Hallelujah. And all the Lord has allowed us to do, just rest. Huh? Just rest until the time come. And I'm going to introduce you to your mansion. Hallelujah. Now, some of us live in very fine homes. Some of y'all got half a million dollar homes. Some of you got million dollar homes or more. And ain't that just nice? But I guarantee you. Your driveway is not paved with gold. Huh? Ain't no jasper stones lined up around your, your walls. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It might be nice, but it ain't nothing to compare to what God has prepared for you. Why did he do this? Because he was so, you, was, you are so special to him. Hallelujah. I want you to leave here today just uplifted, knowing that I'm special. Uh, I might get treated like a dog while I'm here. Uh, I might get kicked around and talked about and abused, but in the eyesight of my father. Oh, bless your holy name. I'm special. And because I'm so special, he's prepared a place for me. He said, whether I go, you know. And the way you know, he said, you know where I'm going. And you know that doubting Thomas, he said unto him, Lord, we know not where you're going, and how can you know the way? Then Jesus said unto him, I am. 
the way, the truth, and the light. No man coming unto the Father but by me. You want to know how to get to that special place? Hallelujah. You want to know why I call you special? I've done this thing. Hallelujah. Because I, when you follow me, he's on the way. How many times that you try to show somebody directions? And you know, there's a lot of twists and turns to try to get to this location. And eventually, you will say what? Just follow me. Uh, you try them, go, go two blocks and make a left and go three blocks and make a right and go up the hill around the corner. And you say, I'm just confused. They say, I tell you what, just follow me. Uh, and that's what the Lord is saying to us today. Just follow me. If you will follow me, I'll get you to the mansion that I have, pre that I have prepared for you. How, isn't that comforting to know that not only have he prepared it, hallelujah. See, some of y'all waiting for the HGT dream home. Huh? Huh? Waiting for it. Go in every day and register. Ain't nothing wrong with it, but you probably won't get it. Huh? I can give you the address and you can ride by, but you'll never own it. But I declare unto you today the mansion that Jesus said, I prepared for you. If you will follow me, I'll make sure you get there. Hallelujah. I tell you, there's a level of comfort in that. Whew. But he said, I want you to know something. I prepared this special place for you, but there's a reason I did it. I did it because of who you are. I did it because I made you. Hallelujah. To worship me. I made you to serve me. I made you to honor me. I made you to magnify my name. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the Lord. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, and verse 1. Whew. Thank you, Jesus. When the Lord thy God shall bring thee into the land, whether thou goeth to possess it, and have cast out many nations before thee, the Hittites, the Jerusites, the Amorites, the Canaanites, the Perizzites, the Havites, the Jebusites, Seven nations greater and mightier than thou. He said, there are some people there that are mightier than you. But he said, I got a place for you. And this was not the, this was not the, the, the place that he prepared for you in glory. He just telling Israel why you're here. Huh? I, you rode by some places that the Lord prepared for you and you didn't even know it. Huh? Some of you living in homes that you rode by. And never thought it would be yours. Uh, you said, well, that's nice. Uh, somebody else built it, moved in it. They moved out and somebody else moved in. Uh, they were just keeping it up until you got there. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why? Because God said, I've driven some people out that were greater than you because I love you. And he said, and when the Lord that God shall deliver them before thee, Oh, bless your name, Jesus. Thou shalt smite them and utterly destroy them. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor show mercy unto them. There are some people that God has put out of your life, and you try to re-enter into a covenant with them. Huh? God said, I made you special. And because I made you special, I don't want you to go back and enter a covenant relationship with them. I got rid of them for you. It's amazing. I've seen this so many times in life that God had gotten rid of people for your sake, for your good, and you still trying to enter into a relationship with them. The Lord said, don't you see it? I did that. And this is what he said in verse 3. Neither shall thou make marriages with them, thy daughters thou should not give unto his sons, nor his daughters shall thou take unto their sons. Huh? For they will turn away their son from following me. This is what the Lord said. I made you special. And I'm concerned about where you end up in relationships. There are some people that I don't want you in a relationship with. But Lord, you know I, I, think I want. I, he said, shut up. He said, I'm trying to get your attention. I'm trying to get you to understand 
while you are pleading, Lord, just give me them. And just, he said, I don't want you to have them. <laughs> it's amazing how the people of God pray for stuff that God don't want them to have. Huh? He said, I don't want you to have that person. But Lord, they so fine. But then, then we have to know to say, but Lord, you don't understand. He said, really? I don't understand. Ah. He said, I don't want you to have that. Because if you do that, then your sons and your daughters are going to follow the same way you did. Ah. And I thank too much of your sons and your daughters for them to fall into situations. Because this is what I know. If you mess with them long enough, they're going to take you away from me. I can't get you to a prepared place. Hallelujah. If you walk away from me, I can't get you to where I want you to be when you turn and go another way. Hallelujah. Whew. He said, be careful. They'll turn. And he said, so will the anger of the Lord be kindled against you and destroy thee suddenly. Now, God said, I gave you chance. After chance, after chance, you still won't listen. He said, I made you special. Hallelujah. I made you so special that if you don't want to follow me, I'll destroy you. He said, well, will God do that? I don't know what he'll do. I just know he's capable of it. But then he said in verse 5, but thus shall ye deal with them. Ye shall destroy their altars, break down their images, cut down their groves, and burn their graven image with fire. Whatever's associated with them, get rid of it. Hallelujah. You try to make the thing work, and he's telling you to utterly destroy it because you're special. For thou, this is verse 6, what I want to get to. Why? Because thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. You're holy. You're special. Hallelujah. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be what? A special people unto himself. Saints, I'm not making this stuff up. He said he chose you to be special. Hallelujah. And God has chosen you to be special, and yet you will go out of your way. When I say you, I'm, not, I'm just making a general statement. I'm not saying that that's what you're doing, but he's saying this is what my people would do. He said, I made you special. And as special as I made you, hallelujah. Woo. You would, and, and he said, I made you, I made you special but I made you special unto me above all the people that are upon the face of the earth. Whew, don't you realize that when you are in Christ and when you're doing what he said for you to do, you are, you are more special than anybody else on earth? Amen. You are more special. God made us special and we don't want to act like it. God made us special and we want to find everything else to do that be contrary. He said, but I made you special. And some of you have been in church all your life. Ah, and everything that your parents taught you, you went against it. Just going to be contrary to what God's word and God's will is. Ah, you can't kick against the prick. You're fighting against it. They said, don't do this, you do it. You do the opposite of everything that you are instructed to do. And the Lord is saying, you do me the same way. You've been mine from your birth. And everything I've asked you to do, you've gone contrary to it. He said, but I need to get your attention because I need you to know that you're special. I've already, look, heaven is already prepared. Uh, it's already there. It's already waiting for his people. He just waited for the, the time that he's going to declare this world to be no more. And he'll rapture his people. But until then, you got to know that you are special. You can't show up at the last day and want to be special. Y'all know those people. Uh, ain't done nothing. Everybody done all the work. I stayed up late hours, getting things done. 
and they come sashaying in special. Looking good, special. But guess what? Everybody know, including the host, that you ain't done nothing. And that's what the Lord is saying. You can show up in the last days. You can show up knocking and tell me, Lord, I'm special. He said, I know. I made you special. Hallelujah. But you didn't do what I asked you to do. Ah. He said, when you saw the naked, you wouldn't even close them. When you saw the hungry, you wouldn't feed them. And he said, you wouldn't even feed me. You wouldn't feed. You wouldn't close me. And he had the nerve to say, but when did we see you like this? This is what he said. What you've done to the least of these, my brethren, you've done it unto me. Hallelujah. Don't you realize that if we are special, we can't treat people any old kind of way. Because the scripture says that some has entertained angels unaware. God sent the angel to you. And because they won't dress the way you thought they should. Huh? They didn't have a fresh haircut. They didn't do this or have this or the other. You rejected them. Ah. But God said, I sent them to you. To entertain. And you, wouldn't, you didn't want to have nothing to do with them. Oh, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. This is what he said in verse 7. The Lord did not set his love upon you. Nor choose you. Because you were among... You were the more in number than anybody, in the people. That's not why he chose you. He said, really, you were the fewest of people, but I chose you. And you walk around, you look around, you see different people that make up great numbers and different and organizations and things of that nature that make up these great numbers. And you wondering, well, why they can do this? Why this? But the Lord said, don't look at that. I chose you. I chose you not because you were the greatest. I chose you because you were the fewest. And he said, matter of fact, some of you have been in a situation of just being around a few your entire life. But that doesn't mean I didn't choose you. Because I, Why did I choose you? Because you were special unto me. Uh, but because the Lord loved you and because he would keep the oath which he has sworn unto your fathers, has the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bondage from the hands of Pharaoh of Egypt. That's what God telling Israel. I chose you. I put you there first of all and I allowed you to go through some things. Just because you're going through, don't throw your hands up. God know who you are and where you are. If he take you through whatever, then you go with it. Oh, bless his name. Know therefore that the Lord thy God, he is God, the faithful God, which keep a covenant and mercy with them that love him and keep his commandment to a thousand generations. Promises, promises, promises. The Lord has made great and precious promises to his people. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, he got a special place for a special people. How, what is that special place? Some people call it heaven. Some say it's glory. Some say it's the, new, it's the kingdom. I said this, wherever he is, if I'm with him, I'm in that special place. How, don't, don't try to figure out where the place is. Your job and my job is to make sure what? That we are with him. You are chosen, you're the chosen of the Lord today. And I don't want you to ever forget that. Sometimes you go through so much, we don't see ourselves to be chosen. Matter of fact, we go so far to ask, how could I be chosen? If I'm chosen, why do I have to go through this? Why do I have to go through what I go through when you say I'm chosen? I don't know which way God's going to take you. But I do know one thing. If you follow him. Oh, bless his name. If the Lord has chosen you, no matter which way he carry you, I remember Mother Adams made the statement in her lifetime. I remember the day she came here. She talked about how the Lord had they been dealing with her. And she said she was mopping her floor. And at the time, she had a little blue Volkswagen 
old bug. And I remember she, the Lord, she said, I was mopping my floor. She's been there a few times. The Lord told her, drop the mop. And she got into the car. And she came here. And I'd never forget the day those doors opened. And when the door opened, she, you could tell she had just left doing housework. Huh? But she didn't tarry. She came here. And she lived to be 90. How old was she, Sister Jose, when she passed? 94, thereabout. She was in her 90s. And she was about 60 when this happened. This is what she said. I went around Robin who was born. That was her testimony. She said, the Lord took me around Robin who was born. I've been here and I've been there. Hallelujah. But today the Lord told me to come to Cobham. Come to the house of God. She said, I came here. And she said, I'm satisfied. He was about 60, 61, 62 years old then. And she lived another 30 plus years. And she was satisfied. Why? Because she knew that she was the chosen of the Lord. No matter what anybody told her, she understood what God had for her. I want you to go with me to 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 9. This is what Peter is telling the people of God. But ye are a chosen generation. <laughs> you are royal priesthood. You are a holy nation. You are peculiar people that ye should show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into the marvelous light. Praise be to God. Which in times past were not a people, but are now the people of God, which has not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. He said, look where I brought you from. Hallelujah. You are chosen generation. Maybe the generations before you thought they were chosen. Hallelujah. And they might tell you, that what you're doing is not of God's will, but you got to know that you are a chosen generation. You are a royal priesthood. Now, let me tell you the value of being a royal priesthood. See, in, in those days, couldn't nobody get to the Lord but the priest. But he said, I made you, little old you, a royal priesthood. And because you are a royal priesthood, you have direct access to God. You don't have to go to nobody. You don't have to go through anyone to get to God. Why? Because you are a royal priesthood. Oh, I bless the Lord. You are a holy nation. You said, I'm able one person, but he said, you're a holy nation. Hallelujah. A peculiar people. Yes, you do things that other folks don't do. Huh? Good people in the church world. There are good people in the church world. I don't deny their goodness. But you do some things that seem peculiar to them. But guess what he said? You're special. Huh? I ain't talking about being curious. You're peculiar. Huh? I ain't talking about being strange. You're peculiar. And because you're peculiar, you do things differently. Amen. You said, well, all the rest of the church world do this, that, or the other. He said, I know. And that's all right. I know. And I love him. He said, but I made you peculiar. I didn't allow you or I didn't give it to you to do certain things. Why? Because I want you to show forth the praises of him that called you out of darkness into the marvelous light. That was our Bible study last night, walking the light. Because God has called you out of the darkness that you were in. And I, and I was telling the, last, the saints last night, darkness don't mean that you were in some deep sinful place. All it's simply saying that the things of the Lord, there are things of the Lord that he has not shown to everybody. Amen. Amen. And because he has not shown to everybody, they are in a state of darkness. Good people. Don't deny that. Good people, but to the things and the ways of God, they are still in a state of darkness. So he said, but I brought you out of that darkness. I established your going. I established your going out. 
and I establish your coming in, yes, I made you different. Why? Because I've shown you a better way. Ah, I've shown you and I let you down into the knowledge of my word. Hallelujah. All, all churches say what? We got the word. And they have. They have it. May not have it in completeness, but that part that they understand, they do it. And they do it wholeheartedly. And they do it diligently. But he says this, to him, much is given, much is required. That may have been a time you didn't know it. Sister Brenda, that was a time you didn't know it. But when you came to the knowledge, what you had to do? You had to walk in it. Right. Wasn't a bad person. Just didn't have the knowledge. And that's what he said. And then when I gave you the knowledge, I made you peculiar. Whoo. Hallelujah. And because I've done this for you, I want you to show forth my praises. Hallelujah. Because I've called you out of darkness into the marvelous life, which in times past you were not a people. You were not a people. But now I've called you, made you special, called you into my own. And because I've called you into my own, now he said, study. To do what? To show yourself approved unto God. A workman that need not be ashamed. Rightly. It's amazing when God gives you understanding and knowledge. Some scripture you've quoted, you've read over and over your whole life. Ever since you've been saved, you've read a scripture. And then when he said, now ah, that you are rightly dividing the word of truth, what you say? I see it. <laughs> because you have obtained mercy. Thank God for you. Hallelujah. You weren't a people, but praise God for his mercy. Hallelujah. <sighs> Thank you, Jesus. This is what he says. Now leaving the principles of the doctrine. Many of us, many among us, have the principles of the doctrine. But he said, once you get that, do what? Go on to perfection. Oh, my Lord. Did God want to perfect somebody today in his word? God wants to perfect somebody today in his truth. He's simply saying that you're good. But praise be to God. I would let you have a glimpse of who I am. Who I really am. Hallelujah. So he's saying, you're special. Every one of you inside these walls today, you're special. Hallelujah. And I thank God he made us special. Hallelujah. And he has prepared a special place for you in his kingdom. Hallelujah. But don't let us miss out. I don't want to be special and miss what God has for me. Huh? I don't want to, for the Lord to look at me and call me special, but then I not do what he wants me to do. Whew. There's a lot of things I would like to do, mm -hmm. but I can't. I can't. Know too much. Hallelujah. I know too much to do it differently. Hallelujah. And I thank God that he did that. I thank God that he showed his love towards me. I thank God that he gave me knowledge. Not just knowledge, but he gave me understanding. <sighs> he said, get wisdom. Wisdom is the principal thing. Get wisdom. I'm glad to know that my father's children are wise. But he said this, in all of your getting, with all that wisdom, get an understanding. Y'all remember, I said this a few weeks ago. Y'all remember the wise men? When they came looking for Christ? They were wise. Three wise men came looking for Christ. Wise. But they didn't have the understanding to know where he was. 
Why? Because they went to the palace looking for him, and he was born in a manger, in a stable, and they laid him in a manger. That's understanding. So you know what I'm saying? Lord, I thank you for wisdom. Now, Lord, I ask you to open up my understanding to whatever you have me to do and however you have me to do it. It might go against the grain. It may go against something that I've always done. But, Lord, when you give me knowledge and understanding, hallelujah, I'll do it your way. I'll come to your will. Oh, why? Because I recognize I'm special. Hallelujah. And I recognize that he has a special place for me. Amen? Amen. Let's go back. Let's go back to our Father and ground. God's not pleased. Let's go back on bended knees. Too far away we have strayed. Now and then a soul is saved. Let's go back to our Father's praying ground. Oh, let's go back. Let's go back to our Father's praying ground. God's not pleased. Let's go back on bended knees. Too far away we have strayed. Now and then a soul is saved. Let's go back to our Father's praying ground. Oh, let's go back, let's go back to our Father's praying ground. God's not pleased, let's go back on bended knees. Oh, too far away, we have strayed, now and then our soul is saved. Let's go back. To our Father's praying ground. Oh, let's go back. Let's go back. Gracious Father, we come in this hour to say thank you. Father, we thank you for the service today. Lord, we thank you for the gathering and assembly of your people. Father, we thank you for every song, every prayer, every testimony. We thank you, Lord, for your word. Hallelujah. Father, we ask that you will bless and keep us. Take us through this week. Stand with us. Stand by us. Help us, Lord, that we will make wise decisions. That we will acknowledge you in all of our ways. Knowing that you will direct our path. Be with us. Hallelujah, Lord. When we return to our homes, we trust that the enemy would not have come in and destroyed anything. So, Father, again, we ask you to be with us and stand by us. Hallelujah. Dismiss us from this place, but not from your presence. In all these blessed Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praying ground. Amen. 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 Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling, to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, I say, you be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. And may the people of God say, Amen. Follow peace with all men, holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. 12 chapter Hebrews 14 verse, God bless you. Love one another. Let me make this quick announcement before you um, go into the um, dining room.